Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapons guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back with a new weapon from a new person over on the Borderlands 2 GitHub that we have not covered before. Uh, he's got two weapons available in his folder. Now we're going to be reviewing both of them eventually. Uh, but we're going to start off with his first mod, which is this lovely looking modded shotgun. Absolutely brilliant skin on it. I love the colour. Uh, it's called the Blunderbuss and it's made by uh, Smotch Poking 42,000. Uh, so. <laughs> bit of a, uh, a name there for you to kind of suggest that this guy loves to smoke uh, but yeah anyway he has brought out a new uh, weapon called the blunderboss it's a, uh, a modded version of the striker and uh, originally he was going for something else when trying to make this weapon but it kind of turned out like this uh, and it's actually really really fun to use uh, it is a good powerful weapon for sure but the good thing about it is you have to uh, it involves basically very very close quarters combat which uh, you have to get right up in the enemy's faces to do a lot of damage and uh, there's not a lot of weapons actually that uh, you're able to do uh, this kind of close quarters damage without actually going down because this does have a good amount of lifesteal on it and uh, yeah it's all in all just a very fun weapon uh, very arrow ammo um, heavy though you've got to be careful because you could soon go through ammo on this so you will need some good regen uh, skills or just to keep going back to the vending machine but yeah all in all just a really good weapon and we're going to give it a good review uh, and as always we'll start off by showing you guys exactly where to get this from so as always you can click on the link in the description which will take you straight there or you can navigate there yourself by clicking on Borderlands 2 mods in the Borderlands 2 community github and then scrolling down to smot poking 42000 section just there uh, once you click on there you'll see both his weapons there there is the blunderbuss at the top and then there's the mock Straza available as well uh, but click on the blunderbuss and that'll bring you to the weapons information page of all the information you need to know click on the raw tab at the top right right click save as and then save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder uh, save it as whatever you like but remember what you've actually saved it as because you're going to want to come in the game and then execute it using the console commands which we'll do exactly right there and uh, that'll change your striker into the uh, blunderbuss if you haven't got a striker you can farm it from old slappy uh, in the highlands outwash or you could just give yourself one in and uh, then change it into this but so uh, you can see the absolute insane weapon spread right there uh, this thing is incredibly incredibly large radius of spread um, which means massive bosses will get uh, some good hits on but it also takes out multiple people at once uh, this is what it actually looks like we're going to use the rustlers version of this now because it looks uh, well it's just a better version but this thing this skin look at this skin absolutely love it uh, this is what it looks like. It also says until you see the whites of their eyes uh, as the red text and uh, yeah, there you go. This is a beautiful weapon. We're going to give it a couple of kills now in the uh, Bloodshot Stronghold and I'll run through the uh, list of information and changes that you need to know. So this is the blunderbuss made by Smot Poking 4200. Uh, this is the code for his first gun. The blunderbuss. It was intended to become a shotgun that would shoot lightning, however it ended up mutating and it's nothing like what he originally had in mind. It has extremely high weapon spread, massive 855% crit bonus, which is a lot harder to land uh, than you think sometimes with this massive weapon spread, but with the sheer amount of projectiles, uh, you're guaranteed, as long as you aim in that general area, there you go, you can see, you're going to get some critical hits on this one, it's quite funny. Uh, it has a 0.25 per second ammo regen, so quite slow actually, I think it should be increased uh, a little bit because you can really soon run out of uh, ammo. I'm having to be very careful here and go through every ammo crate that I possibly can just to keep uh, ammo reserves up a little bit. It has a very quick 4 round burst with 2 rounds uh, fired per shot but it will only consume one per shot which is very very handy uh, because you can soon lose it if this was two ammo per shot uh, you'd just run out of ammo so ridiculously quick uh, due to the ridiculous spread it's best to get up close and very personal the flavor text says it all uh, a good weapon for anyone doing melee or who simply likes to shoot things point blank but it has four percent damage um, to health to keep you up 
Uh, important note, elemental versions will be removed by the sanity check unless you enable this mod every single time you use it. Uh, other features, it has slight weapon knockback, uh, 20 shot clip, reduced projectile speed, chance to be elemental, um, you can actually run this with old slappy with the mod uh, and it has a roughly 1 to 7 to 1 to 10 drop rate. Also does not affect any existing strikers as well, um, which is pretty good. Uh, and it has 4% damage to health. That is the thing that enables you to get absolutely up close and personal with this and stay up. Now this is not the best example coming up. I do actually go down a lot, um, which is a bit annoying. But you can see at the, uh, the very beginning in uh, the actual sort of cauldron run that I did in the intro, that I did stay up pretty well. There's a lot of explosive barrels here though, and I didn't really exactly play it too well. But it's always good to show you how quickly you can actually get back up sometimes using this uh, weapon as well. Uh, you've got to be close though, as you can see, you're far away here, it's not doing the greatest amount of damage. It's still chipping away at the guy, but you, uh, you really just need to unload a complete clip. Luckily this Nomad Head Crusher comes out so I can get the midget down which helped me to get back up pretty well. Uh, yes, also he's got a weapon usage table on his page. I'm not going to go through everything, but he shows a value of minus 10 to 10 for effectiveness for things like melee range, close range, uh, ammo regen, speed, stuff like that. Basically reviews his own weapon and shows you how good it actually is on a minus 10 to 10 scale, which is pretty good. I've not seen another um, person on the GitHub do that, and uh, I do actually like looking at stuff like that, so that's a good idea actually. Uh, also change logs, he's also um, tested initially, um, initial balancing has been completed and uh, he's actually completed a nice tealish blue skin as well which is good. Any feedback is uh, welcome he says, if you find a bug or uh, find any balancing changes that you'd like to see let him know as well. A few credits go to CR, uh, CZR Spec 5's gun creation guide and Dave's skin making guide which are of course are brilliant guides if you want to go and make stuff yourself go and have a look at them uh, so yeah there you go guys that is everything you need to know about this weapon I actually for a first weapon thing this is absolutely brilliant as well I always like seeing um, you know these modders first weapons to the newest ones seeing how they actually progress with them and all this uh, but I've been quite impressed by a lot of people's first guns actually that are coming through um, where they're actually really really good and uh, a lot of people might not you know like the actual close quarters combat style but uh, I don't know many other guns like I say that has the survivability to actually run up to shielded plumbing nomads and stuff like that electrified nomads and you can just kill them pretty well and also stay up with everything else shooting you as well so uh, yeah great change of play style from this gun absolutely love it so uh, yeah there you go guys let me know what you think of this down in the uh, comments below that was the blunderbuss made by smot poking 42 thousand uh yeah thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one Meet bicycle.